Hello everyone. In the previous session, we understood how Windows scheduling works nowadays and achieve multitasking. Now, let's check how SQL Server threads are scheduled on Windows. Does the Windows scheduler schedule SQL Server threads in the same way like other processes? Let's see. SQL Server is also a multitasking process. It can run several threads in parallel and can complete tasks in parallel. If we take SQL Server as other processes, SQL Server threads would be scheduled in this way, and Windows Scheduler would be responsible for scheduling on CPU. However, there is a performance issue with this, and we cannot schedule SQL Server threads in this way like other processes. Let me show you why. Suppose you have this table in SQL Server, and Windows Scheduler is responsible for scheduling SQL Server Pro threads. Then, you run several update and select queries on one after another. Let's say, update query task came first, and it is, it is decided to be run on CPU first. It is put in running queue and run. To keep integrity of the data, while updating the rows, this thread takes exclusive log on target rows until this task finishes. However, since your table is huge, let's say, this update task was not finished within limited time, I mean, limited quantum, okay? As a result, update thread is preempted. However, as task did not finish till the end, logs are not released. Then. The next select query is run. Suppose this select query also tries to get third row, but it is blocked and cannot move forward. As a result, this task just spends its time CPU without doing anything. Other tasks also face the same issue and spend CPU time for nothing because they are blocked. This condition will continue until update query is run again and finishes and releases lock. As you can see, we are spending CPU time inefficiently in this case, and uh, our query becomes definitely slow in this case. Why this is happening? The main reason is Windows CPU is taking SQL Server threads as other process threads. Windows does not know anything about locks in SQL Server. Locking is SQL Server internal feature. In this case, the correct scheduling would be to put dependent threads in waiting queue and allow more time for update tasks and uh, run dependent tasks when the log is released. Windows Scheduler cannot do this as it does not know nothing about SQL Server internal features. Several years ago, SQL Server was working inefficiently in this way. As a result, Microsoft changed internal features of SQL Server and added SQL OS, which fixes this scheduling issue. How this SQL OS works and improves scheduling? We will talk about this in the next session.